I like Minecraft. I also really like Minecraft's soundtrack. So why have I played with my music volume at 0% since the day I got Minecraft in 2011? I don't like the way it's implemented. Minecraft will play a random soundtrack at sunrise, noon, sunset, and midnight. My problem is that it's not adaptive. There's this thing called adaptive music. If you don't know what that is, adaptive music is a way of implementing music in games where the volume, rhythm, or tune of the music changes in response to specific events in-game. A billion people have already mentioned this, but Banjo-Kazooie is a shining example of adaptive music. There is a different remix of every level theme for every tiny thing that happens. Go underwater, new remix. Go near a boss, new remix. That is genius! That is adaptive! Or what about in Doki Doki Literature Club, when the music suddenly becomes glitchy and sinister whenever Monica messes with the code? That tiny music change is enough to put you on edge with this game. That is perfect. That is adaptive. That is cool. So game's fucking cool. This is like a masterpiece of psychological horror. And yet there isn't a sequel. It has been three years, Dan. What the fuck are you doing? You ever think about how the music in the Skyloft Bazaar from Skyward Sword adapts to whatever shop you're closest to? Oh yeah. Guess what? That's adaptive. You ever think about how big this guy's eyes are? I do. Joe, what do any of these games have to do with Minecraft? Shut up, I'm almost there. I'm gonna bring up one more game with an adaptive soundtrack. It's very similar to Minecraft. It's been around for about the same amount of time. That's right, I'm talking about Ter Doom. Eternal. Doom's music isn't adaptive in the same way as the previous entries. Uh, there's no music change depending on what demon you're killing or what gun you're using, although that would be super cool. There is, however, different styles of music depending on where you are in a level. Most of the time, you're moving around the level and exploring and doing platforming and occasionally killing demons. The music in these sections is usually pretty lax compared to... My point is that it would be pretty unnatural if they just randomly selected music. The, the fact that they refrain from using the heavy balls to the wall music until peak moments in gameplay makes those peaks so fun. It wouldn't have the same kick if they played the heavy music the entire time. Just keep that in mind. If you've been following along, you've probably caught on to the fact that Minecraft does not have an adaptive soundtrack. If not, let me show you what I mean. This is not the time to play C418 Sweden. I'm fighting for my fucking life. Give me something that matches my mood, please. I don't think the soundtrack is bad. Hell, I bump that shit on Spotify all the time. But a good soundtrack implemented poorly is a failure. Playing a random track at four intervals throughout the day leads to a very unoptimized experience. The developer can't harness specific emotions for specific scenarios, which leads to very hit or miss emotions. Uh, sometimes they get it right, but most of the time, the mood of the music is in stark contrast to my mood while playing. I think leaving the mood of any given situation to chance is always going to lead to an inherently worse experience. Think about why developers play music in the first place. It's to try and set the atmosphere or to make the player feel something. Whether it's wonder, fear, courage, or if they're just trying to hurry you along. Let me set the stage. I'm in a dark, dimly lit cave system with monsters around any corner. Any second now, something could- and my fucking chair is squeaking. God damn it. How long has that been squeaking for? Hang on, I gotta get- I have like four WD-40 bottles in my room, so I can- I can fix this. Oh, there is- oh, I put- I put way too much. There is WD-40 leaking out of my chair like common in anime, girl. I am in a dark, dimly lit cave system with the monsters around any corner. I'm out of food, out of torches, low on health. Now just think about what kind of music you would expect in a scenario like this.
This shit baffles me, because on the other hand, Minecraft does the best thing ever in cave systems, that being the ambient sound effects. Essentially, there's a value called mood that increases when players hang around in dark areas such as caves, uh, and decreases when they leave. Once the mood reaches 100%, a random, heart attack inducing cave noise is played. I love this feature. There is nothing scarier than running out of torches in a dark cave and having this shit play. And with this thing coming out in a few months, caves are going to get a hell of a lot scarier. It also sounds like they're going to be seriously stepping up the cave music with the warden theme. The Minecraft music isn't always bad. When the random song floating in matches up with what I'm doing, it creates an untouchable experience. Surprisingly, the nether music is actually the exact opposite of the rest of the soundtrack. I think it does its job of setting the mood perfectly. All the tracks are set in an eerie, mysterious, and damn near depressing tone. Hostile mobs can even be heard in the background, solidifying how dangerous the place you're in really is. That is perfect song choice. It perfectly encapsulates the sense of dread, anxiety, and downright fear you're intended to feel in the nether. I actually fucking love the music discs. Cat will probably always be my favorite. Uh, it just sounds so happy. Most of the soundtrack is pretty depressing and nostalgia inducing. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's just like, I don't play Minecraft to be sad all the time. Eleven made me piss my pants the first time I heard it as a kid. Fuck you, Mojang. Thirteen is like the perfect song for caves. It sets the atmosphere beautifully. Oops, it's a music disc, not a song you're gonna actually hear inside of a cave. Pig Step, holy shit, this is the best one. Fuck you, cat. I've been following Lena Rain's work since she made the Celeste soundtrack, and then one day on Twitter, she just goes, by the way, uh, I made the new Minecraft music. What? <laughs> what? I started following you because I liked your music in an obscure indie game. You can't just casually say you're composing for the most popular game of all time, Lena. That's not how shit works. How is there no boss music? Wait a minute. I'm I'm being informed that there actually is boss music. Uh, can we can we pull that up? What the fuck am I listening to? When you think of boss music, you think of big, bombastic music made to hype you up for this big motherfucker trying to knock your ass down. Memorable boss music enhances the fight and makes you feel a real sense of accomplishment when it's over. Now, snap back to the Minecraft boss music. Dude, it sounds like an airplane! I didn't even know this shit was in the fucking game, probably because my brain suppressed it due to how dog shit it is. Or, you know, maybe I didn't know because I had music turned off for several years. My point stands! I don't know, maybe I'm missing the point. I grew up with Zelda, Metroid, Castlevania, and other similar games. Maybe the idea is a somber and depressing tone as you eliminate the last of the dragons in the game. But if that's the case, come on, Mo Yang, you can do better. Add a wither boss music, and please change the ender dragon boss music. Jesus Christ. Wait, why do I... Why do I hear good boss music? Oh shit, it's Terraria! This game implements adaptive music Perfectly! Every boss, every biome, every weather pattern has a unique song. This is what the Minecraft soundtrack could have been like. A sandbox adventure game with adaptive music. The Minecraft music slaps, but for me, in all the wrong ways. Adding adaptive music features to the game would really bolster the experience and convince me to turn my music up. Okay, but seriously, Mojang, what the fuck were you thinking making that 11 music disc? Do you have any idea how young- This is 
video is sponsored by me. I wrote it, I recorded it, I edited it, I made the thumbnail, and I have not slept in several days. The restaurant I work at recently closed down due to another outbreak of COVID-19 in my state, so if you could subscribe, maybe leave a like, uh, maybe share with your friends, I would be eternally grateful. Here's a graph. If you disagree with anything I've said, please leave a comment down below. Let's have a discussion. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have been sitting in this chair recording this for over an hour. I am going to leave now. Goodbye. If you like Minecraft, check out the video on the left, where me and my friends goof off in the new 1.16 update. Or, you can watch the video on the right, which is handpicked by the YouTube algorithm based on your watch habits to suit your tastes.